I guess um, the reason for taking part in the Chopin competition um, would be that it is such a unique competition and um, right now I'm so honoured to be part of the history of the competition. Um, just being here in the preliminary rounds, um, it's just so overwhelming for me and to have watched it five, ten years ago as well as a child and it's just unbelievable to be part of the competition right now um, and to be induced with the music of Chopin, which is one of my favourite composers. Um, and to be with Chopin in the competition um, every day, it is, um, it's just something I love to do. I think the unique quality about the Chopin competition is that, first of all, um, that everybody has to play Chopin, um, all the rounds of Chopin's music purely Chopin's music, um, and no other composer. Um, I guess it really thrives the passion from and brings out the best of how we actually feel because Chopin's music is so personal. Um, I guess everybody, it brings out the best in everybody's thoughts and feelings about how they feel towards the music of Chopin. And, um, and it's funny also in this way that um, um, what's so original about the Chopin competition is Chopin, well, decidedly perhaps, wrote um, music for all genres uh, for the piano and enabled the competition to run thoroughly with um, um, all the different genres of music in each different round and so uh, really shows the pianist's capabilities in handling the music of Chopin. Everybody has to tackle, um, I think, perhaps what I'm about to say. Um, I think the most difficult part of being a pianist, and probably every musician, is um, the fact that you go on stage for perhaps 30 minutes, like today, 30 minutes. Um, but the repertoire you bring behind it, the preparation for the repertoire you bring behind it, is immense. It's huge. and we are buried away and tucked away in a practice room for five, six hours a day. And just for the sake of the 30 minutes. Um, and it sometimes can be quite depressing because um, you do know you have to work on things on the piano and outside. Um, but I think the difficult part is believing that once you've finished all the practice and going on and believing the fact that you will produce the same effect as you have done in the room. That is one um, truly vital point for Venus and very difficult to overcome, I suppose, because there's so many factors that would change. That is a very difficult question. Um, Chopin's music, it's so personal and there can be so many different ways of playing um, Chopin. Um, I, I guess the one thing, as I said before, you have to be, you have to really understand um, Chopin as a person um, more than the musician, uh, what he's been through. Um, his travels in Paris, his illness towards the end of his life. Um, I suppose these factors come into account when you approach Chopin's music because it's all about intimacy, feeling, nostalgia, depression. There's so many different adjectives to describe him. Um, and when you come in contact with his history, it would deeply, I'm sure it would deeply affect you and make you really clear as to what moment this was when he was writing um, this music, um, what was he feeling and what was happening in his life at the same time. I 
I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I enjoyed it. That is uh, one word. And alongside that, I'm overwhelmed to be here because it's just unbelievable to be, even not in the actual competition, but to be part of the history of the shopping competition now. It is just unbelievable and to be here as well. Um, so that would be one word. Enjoy, overwhelming. And the last word is, I'm glad that is over. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, very much, I'm excited and look forward um, to the rest of the competition, I suppose. Yeah, excited. <laughs>